37 Rick Williams and car number one the current CRA champion in points and defending champion from last year Bubby Jones and in row number three it'll be Gary Howard in car number 391 and the rest of the field will be Eddie Worth Brad Nofsinger Mike Sweeney Jimmy Oski Dan Lewis John Redican Dean Thompson Stan Atherton Bob East Wayne Bennett Kirk Sturgeon Bill Von Helmholt Roger Newell Walt Kennedy and Dan McLeod should be able to go racing this time around as they come out of turn number four set up for the front straightaway make a charge at the flag stand the green flag is out and Atchison and Laurie down the front straightaway Laurie has the outside line Atchison on the inside Laurie will come out the leader followed by Atchison and right behind on the move is Bobby Jones Bobby Jones on the outside racing for second and on the inside comes Rip Williams as they come out it's Jim Laurie with the lead in second spot will be Bubby Jones. Third will be Rip Williams. And dropping to fourth will be, and we've got an accident down in turn number one. And as the cars come to a halt, we've got a car upside down as Eddie Worth first got his car sideways down in the turn. And then a slow roll up over the top was car number 96 of Brad Nofsinger. Those two cars tangled down there. And another car that was involved is car number 11 of Dan Lewis. That car is facing backwards on the racetrack all by itself. But the two cars in a tangle are 77 Eddie Worth and 96 Brad Nofsinger. Bringing out the yellow and then the red flag as the race will be stopped as the emergency crews tend to the car. No one injured in that incident. Brad Nofsinger back on the track. Eddie Worth and Dan Lewis both sidelined with damaged cars. We're ready to go back green. They come out of turn one, and away we go. The leader is Jim Laurie the fourth going into the first turn. He's followed directly by car number one, Bubby Jones. Jones in second spot. Rip Williams is running third. Pole sitter Mark Atchison is fourth as they go into turn number four. Down the front chute with Jim Laurie holding the way, and we've got a car into the wall in turn number four. And it's Mike Sweeney. Mike Sweeney in car number six came out of turn number four and caught a hold of something and slapped car number six very hard into the wall at the exit of turn number four. Sweeney already out of his race car. But he's a little bit unhappy with somebody. You see him walking out on the racetrack, and you know that he's going to point an accusing finger at somebody, and he does as they come down the straightaway. He's an unhappy driver, claiming that uh, someone apparently got too close to him and tapped him. But nevertheless, the yellow is out, and they're going to have to remove the car from the racetrack. Mike Sweeney's car number six off the racetrack now with front end damage. We are ready for a restart. Again, one lap has been completed. We are starting lap number two. Jim Laurie the fourth will bring him out of turn number four in the 98 junior car. The green is out and we are racing once again. Laurie down the front straightaway with Bubby Jones trying to make an early move on him as they go into turn one and across to turn number two. Jones tries to get the lead as they go up the back straightaway, but Laurie holds on to it. Laurie the leader. Jones right behind him, followed by Rip Williams and Mark Atchison. Down the front straightaway they come as Laurie continues to lead with Jones the aggressor. Jones unable to haul around yet. As they go up into turn number three, Laurie runs the outside groove, and Jones follows him around this time with Rip Williams right on his heels. Jim Laurie the fourth, sitting in the 98 junior car tonight. The leader so far as we have completed three laps, and we are halfway through lap number four. 30 lap main event. Jim Laurie the fourth, the leader, coming out of turn number four. Still being pursued by Bubby Jones, Rip Williams, Mark Atchison, and Dean Thompson in the fifth spot. There's the leader, Jim Laurie the fourth of Buena Park. Up the back straight away he goes. 
And now something's wrong with Bubby Jones' car as he slows way down. Jones, that was in second, has gone to the inside of the racetrack, and there's problems. It's a flat tire. A right rear tire is flat on Bubby Jones' car, and he's unable to get off the racetrack and brings out the yellow flag. It is a flat right rear on car number one of Bubby Jones, and he is still on the racing surface at the exit of turn number four, and that brings out the yellow, and they'll have to push him off the track. We'll be back to pick up more action in the main event right after this. the tire changed but were unable to get on the racing surface before the green came out so Bubby Jones is not coming back into this event the leader Jim Laurie the fourth down the front straightaway and moving into second is Gene Thompson Thompson is the one that will benefit the most from this as he is chasing at points trying to catch the points leader Bubby Jones who is not on the racetrack here goes Thompson trying to get to the lead as Jim Laurie the fourth has it in the 98 junior car they go into turn number one Laurie on the outside Thompson down on the inside Thompson going for the lead Laurie tries to stay in there cannot do it as Thompson moves to the front of the pack Dean Thompson the leader Thompson coming out of turn number four. Jim Laurie the fourth is running in second spot. Rip Williams is running in third. And Mark Atchison, the pole sitter, is in fourth. They continue to charge on the track as Thompson is into turn three, goes over to turn number four and down the front straightaway. Dean Thompson, the leader. Jim Laurie the fourth back into second now. As Rip Williams runs third, they're in turns one and two. There's Williams from his third spot trying to catch up and trying to get into a position to challenge the front runners. Williams into turn number three, across to four. You can see him gathering up right behind the Jim Laurie car. And here comes Thompson, the leader, followed by Laurie and Williams. Thompson. Now Laurie, then Williams right behind Laurie as Williams wants to get around and see if he can catch Dean Thompson, the leader. Into turn number three, Williams trying to get low. Laurie on the outside, Williams right behind him. Out of four, down the front straightaway. Jim Laurie the fourth in second. Rip Williams trying to make the move on him. There they are up the back straightaway. That's the second place car of Jim Laurie the fourth. Rip Williams running third, trying to get him. Over into turn four, down the front straightaway. Laurie and Williams, a battle, second and third. There in turn number two, and up the back straightaway, there's Williams doing his best to catch the second place car. There into turn three. Williams after Laurie. Down the front shoot one more time. This is the race for second and third. There's no challenge up front right now for Thompson. Here's the battle. Jim Laurie the fourth. Second place car, number 98, followed by car number 37, Rip Williams. Williams gets closer every lap, and he gets very close this time at turn number four. He's gaining on Laurie, but can he make a move? There he goes, trying to get down on the inside. The faster way around the track is the outside groove, and Laurie makes it pay. Williams will have to catch him again as he used all he had on that maneuver that didn't work. Gets closer again at turn number four, and down the front chute they come. Jim Laurie the fourth, first time in the new 98 junior car. Right behind him, Rip Williams, trying to reel him in. Williams after Atherton, up in three. Rather, Jim Laurie the fourth. Jim Laurie the fourth, down the front straightaway. Williams right behind him. And behind Williams comes Jimmy Oski, who's moved into fourth spot. The battle continues as Williams drives as hard as he can up the back straightaway and again into turn three. Here's the second place car right in front of him, Jim Laurie. Laurie, Williams, and Oski down the front straightaway. Williams getting closer and closer. We're on lap 17. 
of a 30 lap event. Looking at Jimmy Oski's car, he's running in fourth spot. Here's Williams gathering closer now to Jim Laurie. Here's how they look down the front straightaway as they throw him into turn number one. Power through the turn over to turn number two. Williams just can't seem to get Jim Laurie. They're up in the north end of the racetrack. Laurie holds the line. Williams gains a little bit this time. And Oski is gaining on Williams. Williams goes to the inside. They're three abreast down at turn two. Now Williams gets closer to Laurie as Oski drops back. Wasn't room for three wide, so Oski backed off for a second. We'll come back on the charge now. Here they come. The race for second, third, and fourth into turn number one. It's Jim Laurie the fourth, followed by Rip Williams. Oski's down on the inside. Oski gets around Williams and moves up into third spot. Now Oski after Jim Laurie, the second place car. Oski down on the inside of the racetrack, the low line, he powers around, he makes it. As Oski moves into second with a daring pass out of turn number four. Oski is second, Jim Laurie is running third, Williams is fourth. There's Oski, the second place car, number 18. Coming out of turn four and down the front straightaway. There's Jim Laurie, the fourth. There's back to Oski, the second place running car. Rip Williams trying Jim Laurie one more time. Got up very close to him as they went into turn number three. Jim Laurie with Rip Williams chasing him. Out front all by himself is Dean Thompson in car number two. Second place. Is Jimmy Oski. At third place, Jim Laurie the fourth. There's Laurie with Williams right after him. Williams trying to catch Jim Laurie. Laurie in third, Williams in fourth. At 24 laps completed. 30 lap main event. Coming around now with five laps left to go as we complete lap number 25. Begin to see a little bit of smoke coming out of car number 37. That's Rip Williams' car running in fourth spot. He's been charging hard. See if his car will last. There's Jim Laurie with Rip Williams trying to stay with him. Laurie, the third place car, goes into turn number three. Williams still with him. The leader is all by himself. That's Dean Thompson. Nobody near him. And in second spot is Jimmy Oski. Again, nobody challenging him. Here's the challenge going on. As it's Williams after Laurie. Williams on the outside. He's going around Laurie. Can he hold on? Laurie and Williams side by side. Williams goes into turn number three. He's trying to use the car to stay away from Laurie. Laurie on the charge and Williams moves up. And Williams gets past Laurie and moves into third spot. The battle that's been going on through the entire race. And Williams moves into third. The white flag is out for the leader. Dean Thompson is on the last lap. Lap number 30, going into the record books now. Thompson the leader. Here comes the pack out after number four. Rip Williams is the third place car. Here comes Thompson. He's coming out of turn number four for the second flag. And the victory goes to Thompson. Thompson will be the leader. Second place will go to Jimmy Oski in car number 18. And third place now, coming out of turn number four, is going to go to Rip Williams in 37. And